Welcome back to Cargo Planning. Today, we are going to be looking at new displacement, finding it by using the old draft and the new draft method. This we consider to be phase five of the cargo planning calculations. So now let's look at this formula. When we are finding new displacement, first we need to find the original or the old displacement. And this is done by using the old draft. That is length times the breadth times old draft times density times CB, the block coefficient. The new displacement using the old draft method, we would now just add or subtract the weight to that. And it all depends on whether we are loading or we are discharging. If we are loading, we add, and if we are discharging, we will subtract. So here goes. In this formula, new displacement using the new draft, we would calculate the new draft using either sinkage or rise. So it all depends on whether we are loading or discharging. And once we have discovered that, then we will just plug it, use it with over TPC to find the new draft. And then we will just plug the new draft into the this into the formula for displacement. Length times breadth times a new draft times density times CB. Again, length is the L is the length, B the breadth, D the draft, and CB the block coefficient. Now, let us look at some examples. Question one. We have, nine, we have length 96. Breadth 32, we have the draft 5.4, we have CW 0.67, we have CB 0.75, then we have density 1.000, fresh water, then we have the vessel loading 100 tons of cargo. Now, we'll be using two decimal places in all our calculations. And here we are asked to find TPC, the new draft, new displacement using both the old draft and the new draft. Let us look at this question. First, we're gonna use a TPC formula where TPC is equal to length times breadth times CW times density times one centimeter converted to meters 0.01. Substituting the values, we get 96 times 32 times 0.67 times one times 0 0.01, resulting 20.58 tons. Now, since the vessel is loading, we will use this formula, the sinkage formula, where weight, where sinkage is equal to weight divided by TPC. Substituting values, weight 100, divided by TPC 20.58, gives us 4.86 centimeters. Converting 4.86 centimeters we divide by 100, which gives us 0 0.05 meters. Now, new draft would be equal to old draft plus sinkage. Substituting values, 5.4 plus 0 0.05 gives us 5.45 for the new draft. 
Now let us go and find the new displacement first using the old draft method. First, we will find the original displace, um, displacement, and then we are going to add or subtract as it suggests. But in this case, because we are loading, we are going to add the weight. Substituting values, we have 96 times 32 times 0.75 times 1 times 5.4. Then we are going to add 100 tons to that. That gives us 12,441.6. And we are going to add 100 tons, resulting in new displacement using the old draft equal to 12,541.6 tons. Then the new draft method is as we said, we'll use a new draft. So all we are going to do is just substitute the new draft in the new displacement formula, where we have 96 times 32 times 0.75 times one times 5.45. That gives us 12,556.8 tons. Let's look at the example. We have length 97, breadth 35, draft 7.31, CW, water plane coefficient 0.62, block coefficient CB 0.78, density 1.015, discharge in 880 tons this time. And again, we're using two decimal places in our calculation. We are also asked to find the TPC, new draft, new displacement, again, using both old draft and new draft. Again, using the TPC formula, where TPC is length times breadth times CW times density times 0 0.01, substituting the values given, TPC will be equal to 97 times 35 times 0.62 times 1.015 times 0 0.01, resulting 21.37 tons. Since the vessel is discharging, we are going to use this formula, the rise formula. And again, rise is equal to weight divided by TPC. Substituting values, discharge value for weight is 80 tons, divide by 21.37 the TPC. That gives us 3.74 centimeters. Converting 3.74 centimeters, we divide by 100, gives us 0 0.04 meters. Now new draft, this time is equal to old draft minus the rise. That is 7.31 minus 0 0.04, which gives us 7.27 meters. Now let us find the new displacement using first again, the old draft. And this time we are going to be subtracting the weight because it is discharging more than it is loading. Now, let us look at the substitution of values. We have 97 times 35 times 0.78 times 1.015 times 7.31. And then we're going to sub subtract the weight. That gives us 19,647.98 and we will now subtract 80 tons from that, giving us new displacement using the old draft of 19,567.98. Now let us find new displacement using the new draft. Again, all we do is just substitute the value for the new draft in the formula. 
and we get 96 times 35 times 0.78 times 1.015 times 7.27 and that gives us 19,540.46 when we use a new draft. Our next example is a combination of both loading and discharge. Let us look at it. Length 98, breadth 39, draft forward 4.7 meters, draft after 6.5 meters, CW 0.65, CB 0.77, Density 1.010, vessel loading 142 tons, and discharging 258 tons. Again, we are required to find TPC, new draft, and new displacement using both old draft and new draft. First, using the TPC formula, length times breadth times CW times density times 1 centimeter converted to meters, 0 0.01. Substituting the values for TPC would be equal to 98 times 39 times 0 0.65 times 1.01 times 0 0.01. That gives us 25.09 tons. We will then find the mean draft from the two drafts given. Here we are given the forward draft equal 4.7 meters and the after draft equal 6.5 meters. Mean draft is equal to forward draft plus after draft divided by 2. Substituting the values, forward draft 4.7 plus after draft 6.5 divided by 2 gives us 11.2 divided by 2, resulting in 5.6 meters for the mean draft. Next, we need to determine if the vessel is loading more than discharging. And so, we are given load 142 tons and discharge 258 tons. So since the vessel is discharging more than it's loading, we are going to find the difference, which is 258 minus 142 equal 116 tons. And then we are going to use the rise formula because the vessel is discharging more than it's loading, and so it's a rise. Where weight divided by TPC is, will give us 116 divided by 25.09 equal 4.62 centimeters. When we convert 4.62 centimeters by dividing by 100, we get 0 0.046 meters, two decimal places, 0 0.05 meters. Therefore, New draft would be equal to mean draft minus the rise, where the mean draft was 5.6 minus the rise of 0 0.05. That gives us 5.55 for the new draft. Now we are going to find new displacement using both the old draft and the new draft method. Again, we plug in the values for old draft would be 98 times 39 times 0 0.77 times 1.010 times 5.6 and we are going to be subtracting the weight this time because the vessel is rising or discharging more than it's loading. Original displacement is equal to 16,645.27 
and we subtract 116 tons from that. That gives us 16,529.27 using the whole draft method. Again, finding new displacement using the new draft, we will just substitute the value of the new draft in the formula where L is equal to 98, breadth is 39, CB 0.77, density 1.010, and the new draft is 5.55. When we multiply all of that, product is 16,496.65 tons. So people, next time we'll be going into phase six of cargo planning calculation. But I want you to remember to like, share, and subscribe to Lane's ED Enhancement. Stay tuned, as I said, for phase six we're going to be looking at stability and moments. But remember